Right, thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivor's Facebook 365. We got an innocent devil as our new character today for a year's worth of videos. And I already messed up, but he was 1,330 XP. And he can flip between the other imps stuff, the other half of the familiars. We're going to stick with Innocent Devil for a Svarog statue and to try and unlock Dario. Road to Castlevania. So, all fire weapons. That's what we're going for. There's a fire wand. That's a fire weapon. I actually looked up the unlock because I'm a dope. Hey there. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Hand grenade does not count. Bracer does not evolve anything, I think. Oh boy. Dominus Anger does count. Weirdly enough, you will see another thing that's weird to count. I guess kind of makes sense. Base area up. Base damage up. Sadly, this is one of the better stars I've had in a while. Go down, reduce. Your use is on the map. I need to start banishing things I don't need. Just so I don't accidentally grab them. And speaking of things I can't accidentally grab... I can't grab the armadillos to unlock them. Because they count as weapons. I can't get candy box and chests because those count as weapons. My options are actually very limited here. But, Barog, we're burning. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, wow, I never noticed how tiny the Dominus Anger Balls are. Uh, none of these. None of those. Okay, so Raging Fire. Well, that goes up with spell thing either. Bizarrely, Alchemy Whip counts as fire. And we'll just grab that. Well, I sure hope it does. It says Vampire Killer. Bracelet also counts, as does at Flames of Misspell. So those have all been unlocked. Oh man, that Dominus Anger is really eating me up. I can't really go out too far to try and find the... Oh yeah, I guess I'm at the point where I'm just looking stuff up to unlock. This is one of the better characters to try to do it with, too. Trail of Fire. It lasts a while, too. Alright, Tear Juice is on the map. The other ones are Bracelet, which will always just evolve itself. I guess Toronto's box if I wanna... Well, we'll see what I get. See what I get. If I last half a second longer. Definitely needs an area increase with Kin Labrador. Toronto's box. You know, Ash isn't the spell gonna be that great. Power is actually gonna be somewhat limited. I mean, I don't think anything else I can grab is actually going to get benefits from passive. I think would be Taronis box if I get ashes. Flames. Or do I have other options? Do I have other options? Does the anger need... Anger, whip, ashes, fire... Oh, raging fire, duh. Heart of fire counts too. Not that I have much in the way of heart of firing stuff. Odd that doesn't do Sparog, but I guess it'd be too strong. Actually seems to get a lot of benefit out of area, the Svarog statue. Ooh. Give me them gems. Well, let's max it out and get out of the pool. Damage is terrible though. Wowzes. This is not a weapon that's gonna ever top a chart unless you're solo weaponing. So, 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 Sonic Dash. We be relying heavily on Hellfire here once we get to it. <laughs> I don't actually need to travel much then. Everything else is there. Grab the passives, but that's about it. Grab the gold ring and tag to the left for safety. And just fight some bosses. You can't fight any bosses. I should go over to the plant. Get its chest out on the field. No blinding rage to find. Blinding fire. Fire rage. Uh, 
Hey, you can set fire traps to do a good chunk of damage at least. Hey, there's Regen Fire. I just need Bracelet. Keeping them back pretty well. Fire Wand. Vanish. And the power of the sun from Vampire Killer would count. I'm not sure why Alchemy Whip did. But it is. And there's Bracelet. There's my weapons max out. Alright, let's try and get Hellfire soon. Bounce it. Bounce it around. Man, they really want to give me armor. Like so much armor. I don't want to waste all my rerolls. I need them for Arcana rerolling. Alrighty. There's Hellfire once I can get in. I'll just push on through. Alright, that's a good clearance. Oh, Parmagus and Coronas as well, of course. Spawn! And it does no damage. None at all. Now let's see, Spellbinder, make it last longer, I guess. Duplicator, Duplicator first. The Spellbinder would mostly help with Vampire Killer damage. I do need Vampire Killer damage. Arm. Oh. Let's see what can I evolve. Vampire Killer. I mean, I can't get anything from the chest that isn't already something I have. Hey, Duplicator. And you get increased air amount from Duplicator because you're a monster enemy. A monster character. Dude, no speculo. Pretty fast on the kill, all things considered. No, oh, Alchemy Whip has nothing on it. A lot of spellbinder showing, huh? Up, 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 a bracelet. I don't think I need area. Bracelet's just more consistent. Well, it's not good, but it's consistent in dealing damage, just not against things you'd want. No armadillos. I'm probably gonna just run into the armadillo anyway on accident. That's just how it goes with me. Oh, things are going well. Time to screw it up as much as I can. Alright, let's max out my damage. God, it's still doing single digit damage. I mean, there's a lot of it. It doesn't seem to have, like, hit amount on screen problems like some other weapons do, like Shadow Pinion or Bracelet. It's endless, actually. It's pretty nice. Wings actually wouldn't be too bad if I wasn't trying to get unlocked Dario. My little Sonic Dash. Leave a giant death trail everywhere you go. Man, that vacuum did not give me a lot of level, huh? I can't even evolve the whip if I do get it. I should just grab the chest and bail. Go to wherever I need to go. Duplicator. Coronas and Spellbinder are kind of what I'm looking for. Got five amount. Pretty nice for hitting things. Pretty dang nice. Well, I guess I'm just camping near the tier Jisoo till things get better. Well, my clearance isn't too bad between Hellfire and the Alchemy Weapon. Could be better, but I've done worse. On the other hand, I've done so much better. So, so much better. Eesh, I want ice to vanish on like pump roller or something, but man, they're not giving me other stuff. There's Spellbinder and Torona's box. Torona's is rarer, so. Do 
Too bad I can't hold it like Holo here. You can pin something you want for the next level if you're up two of the same thing you want. Oh, crown. Can't get the armadillos. They're counted as weapons. Spellbinder or crown? Crown will eventually compensate for everything. And it means I get to my power spike faster. So, crown it is. And the passes. There's no way the passes don't count. Or count against not getting Dario. It's a or a Logan time. Well, let's make everything we have as powerful as we can make it right now. With the candle upper door. That's barely on in the model too. Not as bad as Fairy got with that. Boogaloo of illusions. Beefing it. <laughs> X armors go away. Cause we are here to save the day. We are the innocent devil. Strong or fast, unstoppable. Innocent devil. Wow, you are not going to stand any chance. Do a good job of stopping them. Or stalling them. Max out or alchemy whip? Nope. Nope. I'll just grab all the stuff that I've been saving here. Yay! So close. Yeah, now the power of the sun is in my hands. I don't need a max now, right? Yeah, there we go. Now, any boss that shows up is getting the fear of the sun in its face. I missed the sun. It's solid damage on its hits regardless, too. Oh, mages. Nothing to evolve. And every chest I get does mean one lost thing spent on limit break. You know, or leveling up a weapon. Two levels and not limit breaking for ultimate power. Feel the sun. Feel it. Feel it, creature. It's Doctor the Creature to you. No, Fulgore, I don't want you. I never want you. Who would ever want you? Solo weapon Yoko is going to be a tremendous. Like, oh boy, is that one already looking to be a disaster with how poor that weapon is. But, uh... Bracelet. You can wait. Bracelet. You can wait. It could lay the fire up first. And then, drop it. Blail is a character. It's gonna take a bit to get over to him. Actually, see the next character? I don't even know. No, next is something weirder. Well, weirder than Innocent Devil? Yes, it is. Waruka Bakken. Yeah, you don't get to live. Who gave you that idea? Hey, there's the bugbear. Evolution chests are spawning normally now. They always spawn normally on this map. Ho ho ho, go bossing. We'll grab that rage and fire. Alright, now we can get Salamander out of the next box. And buy a bracelet too. Get the Aegis going first. Even though I should have just turn on us. And does the curse really matter? I'm still taking damage. This is not the best setup. Alright, maxed out my duplication. I think it's only plus three projectiles. It's quite low. Especially because I don't really have much in the way of projectile added in here. No Dominus Agony. To increase it even further. Okay, I must have been missing where the sunbeam was doing because I thought I was hitting you with it. Last run. 
of our ring is most valuable here. Don't grab the Familiar Forge. Don't grab the Armadillos. And stop getting chests. This candy box is forced on me. Even if I don't select anything on it. That was a raging fire explosion. Why did it look so big? Oh yeah, get them both. Nope, I already banished you to the abyss. I don't want you anymore. Oh, our base lit is bry. Well, not that I need a par mages out of the pool, but there it is. Are you getting pushed back? I think they're getting knocked back. Jeez, the flame just does so much to keep them forced out. Well, if you had enough, enough damage, rapidly enough. Discard. No. Coronas or bracelet. Coronas or bracelet. Bracelet. Alrighty, alrighty. This will get just Hellfire. Which is very nice. Art of Fire as a fire weapon. And on my mind just blank, wait, does it mean I can only get Heart of Fire as an Arcana? But no, that's because Heart of Fire, Out of Bounds, whatnot, have their own Blood Astronomy, I have their own Ag at the end of a run. You know, with their damage. Door screening. Flames are quite large, yet they have so much potential to be even larger. Alright, the bouncy hellfires are helping considerably. Nothing I need here. I don't want to go for curse, but I might as well take out the Atlantean one here. Keep things nice and light. So obviously Karoma's mana, because, well, more enemies does not matter that much. Oh, I should go fight the sister sisters. Uh, I was hoping to have like two videos recorded today. It's like I'm just gonna end up stuck with one again. One down. Probably two down. Alright, my bracelet's tried up. And we got a salamander out here too. Go salamander! Alright, now we're going to the Undercroft to get... Undercroft? Yeah, that works. We're going down, down low. We're going down, down low. No armadillo. But yes for Chroma Mana. I've got pretty good appearance right now. They aren't going to scale that much up, and my damage is only going to get better and better. Twice it does help. Twice it's not a weapon you want solo at all. Dex has shown that off of plenty. But as a force multiplier, it will still do a ton of damage, just not going to do damage against things next to you. It's going to make things like Rock Light, Rock riot in a full gore quite a tempest of pain also paintings are here i don't know if they were always here i just always missed them because i wasn't here during that time but they're here as well in fact i think that's way earlier than they show up in the other gallery it's like 20 minutes 24 minutes when they show up there how long are you gonna last Quite a long time, you're very healthy. Oh hey, it looks like there's a gem on its head. We be Tarona Zine. This is the part where it starts getting dangerous to pick up chests. Is this is this gonna matter? I mean I'm not going for kill counts here, like it at all. Let's just bail. 
I mean, if this Varg statue doesn't work for solo weapon, I have so many other options. Choose that are the same character for Bezel checking off. You know, I didn't actually run the familiar. Will it? Will it? Will it do it? Let's see if it switches. Oh boy. Oh boy. I sure hope it wasn't, because they're all the same thing. It's not like the different party force color to change anything. Yay, more enemies. I'm still surprised the next anima hasn't been in yet. Grambro Joes. Mortachios. Mortachios is already in the game. Bianca Rambas have been data mined for quite a while, I think. Or at the very least, it was a totally on the road map. Rambo turns into an egg. Weird. Fire every which way. Alright, the damage will be consistent to the victory point. Should I go fight bosses? Get some chests to spawn in? Might as well. Throw the power of the sun. Oh, I'll power up Vampire Killer too, yeah. Yeah, Vampire Killer. Should take down every boss I can. They make Vampire Killer stronger and stronger. Do not risk getting any chests at all. Hey, really? This... Oh, it's only the, the right. I've just always gone to the right or speed broken through. Huh. Yeah, that really does last a long time. Much longer than a bunch of the other trail behind things. Like Osol, Celestial Destiny, or Enchetta's yeah, opinion. Feels weird not just speed breaking through the entire level. Hey, I can see them. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, get some food. I mean, I have revives, but let's try to avoid using them. As I'm just moving too fast in an area I wasn't covering 100%. Okay. Oh, are these enterable? Oh, huh. I don't know if it's supposed to remove the black part, but it isn't. Oh, wall chicken. Or wall pot roast. Wall pot roast. I mean, they aren't durable enough to get into me. They were just going after me because they were spawning in and I was moving too fast. Oh, please tell me this is Dominus Anger. Moving up on the second Arcana, too. Alright, this is where Olrox is, or Orlox, or Bob, as some call them. The way I call him Bob. Why would you call him Bob? That makes no sense. Ooh, that's a lot of fire. Anything else I get the benefit even of Heart of Fire? Mm. Maybe Salamander does. It's not going to be much, but it's really the only other thing for damage I can do. Oh right, you're going to turn into boss form, which is really weak to knock back. Or your second phase. That's the word I was looking for, second phase. My damage can just eradicate them, it's just really hard to actually hit things below me. I don't think any of the whips hit below you. Any any of the whips, including the base game, two whips. Because regular whip doesn't until you get a ton of area and a mount. Vento Sacro sure doesn't. I guess some of the tips will do it. A Hydro Stormer tip. Uh, this is the one where I have to like go around, isn't it? Yeah. 
Alright, Succubus, you get to live for quite a bit more. That's because it's kind of annoying to find you. You don't just speed break through. Right, I have to go through the painting, don't I? Dude, where is the entrance? Oh, hey, Minotaur. Oh, hey, there are more tower shooters that show up. You're just never going to see them because on this map you're going to become too powerful for things to be visible. Neat. 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 There's the teleporter mirror. Can I just stop getting... Oh, it's not a teleporter mirror, it's a passageway. But what's the point of this room? I guess I could get that mirror. Oh, hey, Orlox, 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 Orlox is still here. Doing his stuff. Chicken. Good old floor chicken. Nothing wrong with getting floor chicken. No, that one isn't a secret passage either. How do I get here? Oh, I just have to go down. And around. Oh, this has been a gigantic waste of my time and effort. I'm not going after the big bosses. Those will give me a candy box guaranteed. Because they'll always be rare chests. And I cannot risk that. Because I want to unlock things on camera. If I can help it. And I can. I mean, technically I could have unlocked the Hector stuff. In fact, I should have just done the Hector stuff on camera. Or as part of the second wave. Oops. Oh, I was already falling behind, so... There. And then I ended up playing like half of it anyway, just to get the mace and hammer numbers. Not even important numbers. I did see that the catastrophically high... ...critical modifier is like a hundred times damage. So yeah, catastrophically high is correct. Power of the sun compels you. To the darkness of the beyond with you, Succubus. Mm -hmm. oh, just the movement is getting me. On a chest. Moving down is so weak. With this setup. Oh, Sarah Bondi would count one in it. A count against it. Alright, Heart of Fire. Oh, multiple things explode. Oh, Sarg statue explodes. Oh, I should have started with that then. That'll help considerably with everything. Chicken. Not gonna be any chicken down here, so I need to go grab this. Well, I'm definitely much safer because of all the extra explosion damage. Of course, my big damage thing isn't getting any benefit out of it, but hey. So much better. So much extra damage going out here. Oh, where are these random fireballs coming from? That's something in Nate Ukabok at this level or something. That's not how fire, Heart of Fire works. Oh no, wait, that's coming from Vampire Killer. Yeah, fires out a fireball every X projectile, so that's why. It's not just the power of the sun, it's the power of sending out fireballs. I think it was a. Is that a power they had with Morning Star? Oh, hey, you're frozen. I can actually pile on the damage. Pile on the damage I did. Random Atlantean, go. You are not getting through this. You got through it. Are you getting through it again? 
No, but that was way too impressive considering the damage I was putting out. I still can't go down quickly. I have to feather it. Oh, wait, you're over here. Burn! Wow, you're getting knocked. You just can't. You can't even move in on me. You're getting knocked back so hard. Da, 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 da. Well, I could have moved during that, but why? Why do that when I could not move? And change nothing. Uh, I guess technically the head. I mean, the head doesn't count. The one that shoots fire doesn't count. So I swear there's another fire weapon somewhere. Hey, Malthus. A lot of damage. Ooh, you can take that. No, well, you're taking it pretty well, but you can't really keep up with me because of it. Oh no, he died. Don't worry, he'll get his revenge as a playable character eventually. In like 20 more days. Good. Yeah, this is huge. This is beyond huge. Absolutely beyond huge. That's a cha. Puff, 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 fire. Man, what am I going to do every time a new stage releases? I can't just dump it all in one video. That's terrible. Well, no, 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 no new stage is ever going to come without a new character. Obviously, the new character will be doing stuff. We do like one new character video, then a chunk of the stage being done with everyone, and then the new characters, second wave, and then so on and so forth. Because it's not going to be Castlevania time all the time. Oh god, I'm tempting fate with making a Suganin DLC with that, aren't I? Man, going down is just so risky. I should go down. No, I can go up to get around and hit up that pot roast. Up is fine because the bracelet tends to focus on up. But just down, down, baby. Oh, sweet in the navy. Hama, hama, coco pots. Hama, hama, I have no idea how that goes. Oh, wait, it's over there. It doesn't have an opening here. I've been lied to by the map. Oh, no, wait. I, I have not explored any of these areas without speed braking. This is just here. Oh, it's on its own little pedestal and everything. That's some well-loved meat. Did I hear that timer? This can't be right. I mean, the run usually takes like 40 minutes. And the timer was set for less than 40 minutes, yet it hasn't rung yet. Not really a great sign. Mm -mm -mm. The hunger in the stomach it is a coming too. Can't get down. It's coming in so thick because of Chroma's mana. Even worse if I had curse. So much worse. Alright, slick around, hit up another boss, get Vampire Killer even more powered up. Oh. Yeah, this is just the remix from the trailer, too. I mean, this is not like there's any character to rely upon other than the fairy sings and... Well, I mean, I guess there's slight character there. This isn't one of them. I mean, what character does Ukvok have? The Imp will at least hit a button and make fun of Maria. Sword Brothers is a sword and turns into another sword and is also a sword brother. A bat will leave you if you turn into a ghost and the ghost will leave you if you turn into a bat. That's 
spawn more. You have better level back. Really, sword's the only good one. No, this is also bad. I mean, at least fairy works for healing you. But the imp, the ghost, the bats, all terrible. In Symphony of the Night, anyway. Who knows about any other game? Well, maybe you know. Alright, last minute. I didn't get close to taking out every boss. That's what you get for not having wings. Well, you have wings, but you don't have wings that make you move faster. Why don't you have wings that make you move faster, Ukabak? Wow. Well, I closed in on 200, but not really. One of the highest kills I've gotten. Still not too bad. Remember when getting 100k was actually an achievement, too? Oh, hey, there's a boss here. At the very last second. Is that a bugbear or something else? Hard to tell when they're completely crushed by the power of the sun. Alrighty. Okay, so death does count as a boss for vampire killer purposes. 40 million on the tri bracelet as you do. Vampire killer 29. Hellfire. Heart of Fire did nothing, yet it was still the only bonus damage I could get. Thomas Anger 6.1. Salamander did less damage than it, which is sad. Sparrow statue actually did pretty high. You can keep up with Hellfire, that's generally a pretty good indicator of your stats. But that DPS wasn't too high overall. Oh no, yes, it was. Of course it was. Anyway, that's an innocent devil down, and that is Dario, I think, unlocked. Yeah, Dario unlocked. This is the base damage very quick fire weapon type will level up. Oh, that's amazing. Anyway, next up is gonna be Blue Crescent Moon Cornell on the Vampire Survivors Beswick. Alright, and the innocent devil has burned everything down and unlocked Dario for us. That's 1998 done. So close to the two thousands. Time around, time around. We go up to not that. 128 characters. 1,074 more to go. Next up's going to be Blue Crescent Moon. Or now, I'm not sure that's the right order of operations for the descriptors. We'll be going full beast mode with the Union thing next time on Vampire Survivors Beswick. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. On the right's the start of the beating every stage with every character challenge in Vampire Survivors. On the left is the next video or the best video. In the middle is a subscription if you haven't done so. Please do so. I hope everyone has a good day and you'll perhaps be great enough to like, dislike, comment. Keep messing around in the Vampire Survivors Beswick and Ood Castlevania all day every day.